So that confirms that we've had one of our five quarterfinals so far this afternoon. And coming up next is mixed doubles. Following that will be women's doubles, then women's singles, and to finish off men's singles as well. So plenty to look forward to. And, of course, three matches involving home players. So I can tell you that the crowd here at the Metropolitan Gymnasium in Tokyo, absolutely superb. It is a public holiday today, celebrating the autumn equinox. And many people have come out to watch the badminton. And they're already enjoying some quality play. Let me bring you right up to date with what else has been happening. We've had a mixed doubles on court number two. And Chen Hungling and Chen Wen Sing of Taipei have beaten the number three seed, Sukit Praprakamol and Sara Lee Song Tongkan. Then on court number three, uh, another uh, big result as far as Europeans are concerned as we look at Europeans in our mixed doubles because it's Joachim Fischer-Nielsen and Christina Pedersen of Denmark up against the home players Soji Sato and Shizuka Matsuo. Just waiting for the players to be announced onto court. So there are competitors for the mix of our quarterfinals. The mixed doubles, the number four seeds, York and Fisher Nielsen and Christina Pedersen. Up against the Japanese pair of Shoji Sato and Shizuka Matsuo. And as they're being brought on court, let me just quickly tell you about that other mixed doubles that was on court three while we were watching the men's doubles on our centre court, court number one. On court number three, Michael Fuchs and Birgit Michels of Germany put out Hong Wei and Pan Pan of China in two straight games. Well, there's the crowd, plenty of people here, all got their thunder sticks, they're all enjoying the occasion, and rightly so. Japan Open always a very special tournament. So, as far as the Danes are concerned, well, Christina Pearson. She's going to have a very busy afternoon because she's also in the women's doubles. She and partner Camilla Orutio will be taking on the Hong Kong pair of Poon and C. That will be the second to last match on court three. So as far as Christina Pearson is concerned, she'll be wanting to try and win this as quickly as she possibly can but I have to say this new mixed doubles pairing of Shoji Soto and Shizuka Matsuo not been playing together for that long only 10 previous tournaments together and they formed their partnership earlier this year and it's only their fourth quarter final Both pairs eager to try and keep this winning run going. Not seeded as you can see. World ranking up one place since last week to number 26 in the world. And there you can see, emphasizing the point that I've just made, that they only formed their partnership this year because their career win-loss record is exactly the same as this year's win-loss record. Well, Matsuo is 24 years of age, born in Osaka. Sato turned 29 last Monday. 
And as you can see, what a wonderful first round victory against the number eight seeds from Kuniawan and Pia Bernadette of Indonesia in two straight games. It was very quick indeed, 34 minutes. And just to prove the point, they then disposed of Nikolayenko and Sorokina of Russia in exactly the same time, 34 minutes in two straight games. So we know they've been in good form. Well, as far as York and Fisher Nielsen, very tall man, a 32-year-old, and his partner, Christina Pedersen, seeded four, world ranking up one place from last week, now back at number four in the world. And they've been playing together since 2008. And you can see their win-loss record for the year. Very, very healthy indeed. And that translates into winning the Swiss the Grand Prix gold event. A couple of semi-finals in the Malaysian Super Series and also last week in the China Masters. So uh, they have proved they've been in good form. As indeed their results so far have shown. Because in the first round against He Hanbin, who of course won the bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Beijing, playing with Yu Yang. But playing with a new partner, Yi Sin, that was two games. And then in the second round against Nova Woodyanto and Lilia and uh, Vita Maressa, of course, that was three games. Nova Woodyanto was the silver medalist at the Olympic Games playing with Liliana Natsia, but now back with Vita Marissa. And I can tell you that that uh, third game no, no, last no, no. night was an absolute thriller between the Danes and the Indonesians. The Danish pair here were 17-20 down in the deciding game. They then won five straight points, saving three match points to close it out in an hour and three minutes. Well, kept the crowd here till late last night and kept everybody on the edge of their seats. It really was a thriller. But they've enjoyed success here at the Japan Open previously. Beaten finalists in 2009, lost out to Songpong Nanukre Teon and Kunchela Vorobichi Chaiko. Okay, well, that was a thrilling match as well, if I remember correctly. It was over now, I think that was 22 20 in the deciding game. It certainly went past 21 uh, 19. There's Jorkum Fisher Nielsen, the left hander, 32 years of age. And our court officials. Wilson from China. Hiroyuki from Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Christina Peterson, John Fisher Nielsen, Denmark. And on my right, Matsuyo Sisuka Sato Soji, Japan. Matosa Sashiko Gisso to General Fishon, yes. Lawo play. So the quarter final of the Ronix Japan Open 2011. The home favourites at the far side of the court, Shoji Sato and Shizuka Matsuo. And I can assure you that they will be cheered every single point that they win. Sato, who celebrated his 29th birthday earlier this week, will be hoping that this is a very big birthday present to him. And that he can progress further. Good serve. Well, we know she's a terrific doubles player. That's one, two. Because with Manny Nato. She's currently ranked number seven in the world. In fact, she'll be playing later as well. Both the women on court involved in women's doubles quarterfinals as well as this mixed doubles. They'll both be busy players this afternoon. So it's all right.
service over. Pull straight. First time that these two pairs have met each other. Oh. Oh. And it's very interesting to me that the two men Sorry, on so. court oh. Oh. have both enjoyed success in singles. This man, Michael Fisher, won the Iceland International in 2003, the Spanish in 2004, and the Bulgarian Grand Prix in 2005. using his height and reach on that occasion. Okay. Of course, his opponent, Shoji Sato, well, he had an incredible singles career, 14 titles, including nine in 2003. He did actually make a singles appearance, third men's singles appearance, in the Thomas Cup final last year in Kuala Lumpur. Played very well too. Oh, oh played very well. well. Set up Japan's victory oh, over host Malaysia oh, in the group stage of those Thomas Cups. And you can see from this mixed doubles how he uses his court coverage that he's learned from singles to really be so fast around the court in mixed doubles as well. Four, five. Well, Fisher was one of my favourite players to watch because he's just so intense on court. He's giving a hundred percent every single rally. Real intensity shining through. Oh. Really work her on court. Yes, sir. Well, the umpire's going to have a word. Yeah, racket. Don't do your foot. Okay. Yeah. Check. The umpire just saying, don't bang your racket on your foot. That's, I suppose, could be deemed as racket abuse, but I don't think it was terribly offensive. More just trying to urge himself on, I suspect. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sato seeing the gap, driving the shuttle into the open space. And leaving Christina Peterson absolutely stranded. Oh. Oh. Nicely done. There's Japanese player in the moment. Are making the bronze medalist from the World Championships two years ago in Hyderabad look fairly ordinary. 8-4. Oh, well, same combination. Don't be surprised eight. to see that on numerous occasions with York and Fisher going forward to the net, trying to dominate from the front of the court, leaving his partner to smash from the back. That's, of course, is not the normal formation for mixed doubles. You tend to have players and pairs with trying to get the woman forward in court because she tends to be a little more agile and therefore able to deal with twisting and turning at the net. A little better, and of course men are physically stronger, so you need them at the back of the court. To thunder down the smashes as Shoji Sato did on that occasion. And the Danish coaches are looking a little bit concerned at the moment.
four seeds are in trouble here in this opening game because it's the Japanese combination of Sato and Matsuo with a six-point advantage. Park Dubon, former Korean international player, former world and Olympic champion. My goodness, I wonder how many Japan Opens he won. I think it was probably about six, both doubles and mixed doubles. Now coaching here in Japan, my goodness, what a difference he's made to the Japanese team. Call one, 20 seconds. Call one, 20 seconds. Real legend of the sport, Park Dubon. Okay. Tamak, coach. Okay. Klaus Paulsen, Danish coach. Now, I wonder Check. what he's told them tactically to do. Check. Eleven five play. Well, I suspect from that rally, what Klaus Paulson has said Six, is don't 11. use full power from the back of the court because the Japanese players are just feeding off that. Half smashes from the back or drops. When you come forward, block the shuttle. I was about to say, once again, he's seen the space. Driven the shuttle just a fraction wide. But certainly the right idea, a little shake of the head there. Looks here in Tokyo. In Sato. serve and then the long reach of the tall left-hander jumping from the base position to keep the shuffle going down force the error and there. creeping back into it three straight points that four straight points and now only two Number. points the deficit Oh, what a 
good return. in that rally, the real intensity of the Danes. Oh, so pink. Seven Ten. career titles for this Danish combination, including three Super Series. Plus, of course, they won the Super Series finals in 2009, which were staged in Kota Kinabalu. And then straight after that, York and Fisher picked up a knee injury problem that kept him out for very nearly nine months missed the whole of the start of last year in fact his first tournament back was the world championships at the end of august 2010 underwent knee surgery well this is a remarkable recovery by the number four seeds not only from injury problems, of course, but in this game, they were 7-13 adrift, six straight points, and it's all level. Hey! 40, 13. Perfect low serve. Mm. Park Dulong, well, I've had a quick look at the record books. Eight titles he won here at the Japan Open, including three times winning the double men's doubles and mixed doubles in the same year told you he was pretty special indecision I did wonder whether Klaus Paulsen, the Danish coach, was telling them different tactics at the mid-game interval. And I suspect he has, because this is phenomenal now. Eight straight points. Play. Continues. Mm, Japanese combination must be thinking what well, else has gone wrong. They did start so well. 11 5 up at the interval. Since then, only won 2 of 13 points. Brilliant defence, absolutely wonderful. No wonder he gets the high fives from his partner. Whipping that cross court into the open space. Well, from 7.13 down, 10 straight points to 17 13 up oh! and the run continues my goodness me now just three points away from this opening game smash from the tall Joachim Fischer and in case you were wondering what the noise in their crowd was apart from the fact they were two points away from this opening game a member of Japanese royal family has graced us with her presence and we're absolutely okay. delighted to see her here This is absolutely extraordinary. 
20, game point 13. 13 straight points for the Danes. Well, I don't think I've ever witnessed Post such a turnaround in fortunes as we've Jenny just seen Fischer there. Nielsen, Christina Pedersen, 21-13. Umpire confirming the score, 21-13, having been 7-13 down. This is the final rally, the luck of the net court. Well, Klaus Paulsen, the Danish coach there, saying, well, when you're hitting too hard, your opponents are beating you, you have to vary the pace. And also advising them that they've got to control the net area, stay on top of the net, as far as Christina Pedersen is concerned. Well, the number four seeds from Denmark having been down at the mid-game interval in the opening game. Remember, of course, they were 5-11 adrift, and from there, they promptly won 16 of the next 18 points. Well, that's their 15th point in a row. Yeah, no wonder that Shoji Sato, a little shake of the head. Yeah. Well, the umpire just having a word with York and Fisher and saying, when the shuttle lands, don't spread your arms to try and influence the line judge to call it out. Just leave the decision to the line judge. And York and Fisher saying, I didn't try and influence him. But he most deliberately didn't raise his arms out wide on that one. Anyway, that's good umpiring. I think there's far too much of players nowadays trying to influence oh. line judges. Good to see the officials not allowing that to happen. Finally, the run comes to an end. Well, from 7.13 down in that opening game, the Danes won 17 consecutive points to finish off the game. 21-13, oh. go oh. three, love up. Oh, that's not helping the Japanese cause.
Well, this Japanese mixed doubles combination have Five, been in the one. semi-final previously. Earlier this year, they reached the semi-final of the US Open in California. But at the moment, they just have no answers for the number four seeds. Oh, good return of serve. That will perhaps restore a little bit of confidence. Perfection. Set up with the channel attack, the smash down the centre from Thomas York and Fisher. Six. Oh. Clash of rackets between the two Ten. Japanese players. There's the clash. Set up a weak reply. A missed opportunity. Eight, five. Uh, hit and move forward Nine, from the left hander. So intimidating. Smash from the back, then from the midcourt area. And there he is, third one. He's already at the net. There's the second, third. Finished off the rally. Look at that. Look of determination. Oh, I think I'd be intimidated if he was storming forward in the court. The opposite end to me. Another good 
啊。Good work from Shoji Sato for six cuts. Yeah, not only good work in that rally, he's had a very good tournament because in the men's doubles with Naki Kawamaya, they beat the number two seeds, uh, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen in the first round of the men's doubles. So he really has been playing well, Sato. Good flick serve. So the mid-game interval, a five-point advantage in favour of the number four seeds from Denmark. Ilko <laughs> Fischer skips around the court. Shows the way he's feeling. Shows when he's disappointed in himself. Shows when he's happy with himself. All Showing one, his emotions with us, the spectators. I do like to see that in any athlete. Showing or the despondency. Play. Well, I wonder if Coach Park Jubong has asked his players to just change their tactics a little. a good shot from Yorkham Fisher deep into that forehand corner well to get this one back because it hit the top of the tape it was a net cord and therefore left, left. got deflected and he had to readjust his positioning Good flick serve. Yeah, total commitment once again. 14 6. Yeah, flick serving to Matsuo quite often, the Danes. Obviously, want to get the Japanese pair out of their favoured formation. Exemplifies why so often the women actually go forward because the tall Morecambe Fisher unable to twist and turn quickly enough, not agile enough to deal with the far shuttles coming at him, made the error. Well, 
Christine Peterson. Good smash. Aim towards the right shoulder of Matsuo. It's not just power in badminton, precise placement of the attacking shots. Left hit. Ooh, that was wide, wasn't it? Well, it's called good. Did she touch it? I'm not quite sure. Well, the point has been given to the Danes regardless. mistake that time just to prove me wrong Seven that he is games, agile seven. enough at the front of the court wonderful play from Joachim Fisher uh, Park Jubon looking a very worried man at the moment play. Check. change of shuffle required it's good to see the two Japanese players Still chatting to each other, talking tactics, offering encouragement. measures with him absolutely going for it but once again just couldn't finish the shuffle off defensive qualities of his opponents too good really pressurizing so low serve the shuttle Eight. the Danes taking it early pressurizing opponents driving it back there's the pressure and now we're just two points away from a place in the semi-final Just a question of trying to make the score line a little more respectable, I suspect. Yeah. There's the problem with the new partnership. Both the Japanese players leaving it for the other. And now 11 match points for the number four seeds from Denmark. Thank you. 
Still another ten opportunities, as far as the Danes are concerned. Yeah! And they convert on their second match point. Congratulate each other, York and Fisher Nielsen and Christina Peterson of Denmark, the number four seeds, and quite frankly, from 7.13, adrift in that opening game. Match one by then John from that Fischer, moment on, yes, they totally dominated, they outclassed their opponents. Well, York and Fisher's going to throw his shirt to a lucky fan. Oh, it's the showman. Well, that's got the crowd going, I can assure you. Oh, my goodness, enough, young man. Well, there's the winning shirt from the quarterfinals, plus the shuttle. Rislik will go into the crowd as well from uh, Christina Peterson. But they are safely through to the semi-final, the margin of their victory, 21-13. 21-10. This, the final point, the return of serve. Sent Sato in the wrong direction. And the elation from the Danes, because for the second week running at Super Series events, they have secured their place in at least the semi-final. There's confirmation of the score. 21-13, 21-10 in 38 minutes of play. Well, it was an extraordinary match, and my goodness, there were some memorable moments as they take leave of the court. We can enjoy some of those highlights from that quarterfinal of the mixed doubles.